Well, hello there, humans and peace earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Bushka. Uh, before we start, if you want to win a uh, spot on a video platooning with me, then simply go and join the Discord. The Discord is in the link below. Fizzy's running a competition on the Discord. Everyone who's a, a member on the Discord will go into a random draw, uh, and I'll grab you in a platoon, or we'll try to arrange platoon. I mean, if time zones and work doesn't permit, then we'll just do our best. But... I'm going to move on with the uh, the video now. This is about things that really freaking trigger me. Uh, I'm going to talk about two things here. One of them is um, taking specifically good tanks. Things that are amazing at certain things like IS-7s, for instance, that have incredible amounts of armor and a great assault heavies that can bust through a choke point and do things that no other heavy in the game can really do. And turning them into absolute potatoes just because you want to play every tank exactly the same way. And the biggest issue here, the thing that triggers me the most, is people tend to just want to be passive and camp for damage. Good players will take advantage of this. I mean, I'm looking at this though and just saying, we're going to win this because I can see that they are doing absolutely nothing. All their heavies are up here. There is no one down there to spot and tank damage. They just have a bunch of guys up here with horrific guns that can't do anything. And I'm quite content to sit here for three minutes before we eventually move around. And the, the end result of this game is so predictable. And we've all been here. Right about now, there's some guy in chat screaming at the IS-7s, calling them noobs. And then when he dies, he's going to demand that everyone kills these idiot IS-7s because that's, that's something... It just happens in Blitz. And a lot of the time when you're looking at uh, stats, there's this is the end of that game. Like, I mean, you can see I've not done a lot of damage because I've just been rolling around up the top waiting for the IS-7s to move. Both IS-7 is noob. Here we go. The object went 40s into it. Uh, there's, a lot of the times in Blitz, like 40% of the games you can't win. I mean, 30% of the games you can't win. 30 of the percent of the games you can't lose and the rest of it is kind of decided by you and that really triggers me when you get these teams that take fantastic vehicles and just do nothing with them and the maps specifically are to blame for this quite often because people have success say at tier 5 on the top of naval frontier and then forever that's the space they go to regardless of the vehicle uh, and you're going to see this is probably one of the most triggering maps in the entire game. Look at me. Look at the ST. Are you going to go up here and spot? There we go. We spot the Leo. Excellent. Get down. Going to bounce a shot. Bounce a shot off the Leo. Uh, look at our team. I mean, tell me you haven't been in this situation before. Look at our team. Look at our team. There is a medium and three TDs in spawn right now. There is a heavy that's gone halfway to the, the flank and doesn't know if he really wants to keep rolling. And there is me and the other medium on our team who are basically trying to do our job and we're getting screwed over because like, there's no one on our team who even has shots here apart from one TD. And he's about to get spotted because obviously they're going through B. You can see B's been capped. And I'm sitting here wondering when these guys decided that the best way to win this map was by watching everyone on their freaking team die. And this is unfortunate, but we've all been here. This is... I don't have any answers for you, by the way. This video is not... If you're looking for the bright side of this, I have no answers for you. Just don't do this. Don't go and sit and spawn on that, on that map. Especially don't sit around the corner. If you're... There's a big hint here. If you're behind the one and the two on the map... You're an idiot, right? If you are behind the one mark and the two mark on the map, you're not only an idiot, you're an idiot that's ruining everyone else's time. Could we talk about Port Bay? This is probably the 50th time I've done this in a video. To win on Port Bay, step one, drive to this corner. Step two, profit. Um, there is really no excuse if you have mediums on Port Bay to not contest the corner and to not actually push out here. The chances of you winning on Port Bay once an enemy medium gets to this flank are incredibly low. 
unless they are massive potatoes. I mean, even in a Panther with its crap armor profile, I am going to be able to get great angles and constantly shoot in the side of any heavy or TD that is over there trying to engage my team. So anyone that's spotted by my team and trying to put fire into them gets the joy of having a medium shoot them in the sights. There is a right way of doing things. Like you're going to see here, I'm in a bat chat. Swiss Cheesel is in a grill. He is a TD. He is going to shoot from the back. He has no armor, but he's not going to do it from behind the one and the two mark. And he's not going to do it from a position where he has no view of the enemy. And I'm going to spot my team's targets. There you go. Have some targets, guys. Swiss Cheesel is going to hit that guy 30 seconds into the game and watch my heavies. Like, oh my God, this team. Watch them spread out and move to caps. Look at our other medium holding the flank. None of our TDs are behind the markers. Everyone's got shots on anything that gets spotted. We are capping. We're moving. We're controlling maps. Their FV215B is going to do 800 damage and will not be spotted until the last moments of the game as they lose. I mean, this is the thing in Blitz, guys. If you're watching this and you're new to Blitz, and I get a lot of views on channel, and I've had a lot of people... Uh, who've never played before, come in and, and learn how to play by watching my videos. Always get out where you can see. If you don't have shots, go somewhere that you have shots. If you are a medium or a light or a heavy, be a medium or a light or a heavy. You're not a TD. An IS-7 has gun handling that could quite possibly make you eat your own iPad. Um, that means that you don't want to be spending time in an IS-7 on top of a sniper point trying to farm damage like it's anyone can sit at the back of the map any tank in the game can sit at the back of the map the whole point of blitz is winning and if you're not winning maybe you need to ask yourselves why so i'm going to do a few more of these as typical situations like himmelsdorf for instance where you know people just don't worry about the flank and just all sit sniping down one alleyway and god where else do they do that like um winter malinovka where three meds will just go the heavy route and then not push it and just sit there waiting for someone else to push it until the mediums roll up behind them and start blowing the crap out of everything falls creek where mediums will come into the heavy route and not push and everyone will sit and spawn getting shot in the side by a bat chat that's behind a bush. Like, these are the things that trigger me. And after playing so much Blitz lately, and particularly with this event on giving away free tanks, man oh man have I noticed a lot of this kind of behavior going on. Uh, for God's sakes, go to the flank on Port Bay. For God's sakes, if you're a heavy, push the heavy line. And if you're a TD, get your ass out of spawn and start being a normal human. Oh, FV215B183. Uh, three tanks down on the red team. Still not seen. Still not spotted. Still in spawn. Still doing absolutely nothing to help his team win as the last 70 points rolls along on the cap. Like, there he is. He's finally spotted. He is finally spotted. 30 points before the win. He gets 800 damage. We're, like, there is literally no point to him being in the game. Until next time, look after yourselves, boys and girls, and stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.